Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Before I begin, yes, my nails are painted like pokeballs. I know it's a little bit distracting, but kind of cute too. But today we are here to paint this wooden tray and give it some new life. It's got a couple of spots here and there and it just needs a makeover. So I'm very excited to do that today. I have a great plan for it. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what I can come up with today. This video was made possible by my husband who ran to the store to get me cups because I did not have any, so say thank you to him in the comments. I'm starting off with these cups, some water, some paint. This project takes a lot of supplies, as you know from the title and thumbnail. I'm going to be doing a paint pour on this tray for the first time ever. I have no experience in this, I have really no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I kind of just went with the flow. I decided that I was going to do four colors, starting with white and then doing a variety of different blues. I have this ocean breeze blue, I have turquoise, and I have bright blue. And those are the colors that I am going to be using today to try this out. I really didn't know what kind of colors you could mix, so I thought sticking with all blues would prevent me from making a mud mess. I'm using what I call these little painting spatulas for each cup and I'm thinning the paint by adding in some water and I also saw online that you can use dish soap just a tiny little bit of dish soap to create cells which just means like little individual bubble colors in the art so I hope that this works again I have no idea but we will see so I just added a little bit of water and dish soap to each of my colors until I just felt like it was right and now it's time to layer all of the colors that I have created oops <laughs> into the same cup starting with the lightest at the bottom and finishing off with the darkest color at the top and now it's time for the moment of truth <laughs> whoa so it all came out pretty fast and I didn't really have control over what happened at that point but I just got all of it out of the cup and now for the point that I can control I can control where I spread and tilt this paint so I started just tilting it left and right side to side I don't really know just to try and see what kind of patterns I could create I ended up turning it left here which I kind of regret doing because it covered up a lot of that blue and now it's underneath all of the rest of the paint but for my first try I think it turned out really cool I'm glad that you can see all of the paint colors in it still and it kind of looks like a little world I'm using my heat gun just to blow on top of this paint pour. That way there are no bubbles left. I was trying to show you that it was smoking, but you can't really see it. And here is what it's looking like before it's dry. It's super glossy, super wet, and I'm really proud of it. Here it is the next day when it is all dry and I was just looking it over, seeing the situation, what did we have going on. As you can see, there are a couple of cracks in the paint and I think this is because the wood that I am using is pretty thin so it warped a little bit, but nothing we can't handle. I decided to add some gold accents throughout the piece just to emphasize some of the swirls and just to add some gold because I love gold and I love glitter and shiny things, so I decided that this would be the perfect addition to this paint pour tray. I only added the gold in a few spots and a few lines around everything and following the pattern because I didn't want it to overtake the decoration and the pour that we did and then I thought it needed a little more gold so I did just a little bit of speckling of gold all over the tray and this is what it's looking like you see the little gold shine and it just adds a little bit of warmth in all of those cold colors that are on the tray so I really liked this addition and I think it was a good choice and now it's time to work on the outside of the tray so we've done the pour we've done the inside but the outside needs a little love too I decided to make the rim of this tray gold and then I decided to do the inside of the tray and the outside of the tray white so that we had a little bit of a base 
around all of the rest of the explosion of fun and colors. <laughs> this was really hard to paint underneath, but I decided also to go the extra mile and add the detail of painting the inside of the handles gold as well. Now I decided to use this tiny little paintbrush to paint all of the white and I'm not really sure why but I just wanted to. For some reason in my head I thought it would be more fun but you know it really wasn't. I should have just gotten a bigger brush because I finished painting the inside of the tray and touching all of that up and I was so excited to be done and then I realized I still had to do the entire outside of the tray white as well and I was painting white on this tray for hours and it just shouldn't have taken that long but that's okay. I went back through and touched up any areas that needed to be touched up because I'd gotten some white on some of the gold and here is how it is looking. I am very pleased with how it looks. I think it's very beautiful. I'm very excited about it. And I think it turned out way better than I thought it would. I really had really low expectations because I have never done this before and it looks really hard. And it didn't turn out exactly how I thought it would, but it's still really pretty and a really cool effect that I couldn't have achieved in any other way than pouring paint onto this. So I think it worked out really well for my first time ever doing paint pour. And I love that I added some gold accents. I feel like it makes it a little bit more me. So I really like that. I wanted to show you guys the gold in the sun because it's just oh so pretty. Look at that sparkle. And to save all of this and preserve it, I'm going to be using this Liquitex Glossy Acrylic Varnish. So some of you guys were asking about this. It's a gloss varnish specifically for acrylic paint or acrylic mediums, and it's a permanent thing. It protects it from UV, and it just keeps your stuff fresh, nice, covered, protected, and it adds some gloss to your art, which is really fun. So I decided to add this to my art to protect everything that I've done because I don't really know what I'm going to be using it for and here is what I mean by it makes it glossy in the light you can see that it's reflecting a lot of light and that it's shiny now and it was not before because acrylic paint typically dries matte unless you get a glossy one so here it is completely finished I love the design it kind of looks like a mini world but with a little bit of gold and a little bit of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please be sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!